Migrants trying to evade Border Patrol agents in Salem Park, and it's all caught on tape. In fact, all of it happening while our very own KTSM 9 news reporter Jasmine Perry was working on a story about the AT, uh, AST or autonomous surveillance towers through the El Paso sector. Jasmine joining us live out in Sunland Park with more. Jasmine, good morning. Good morning. We're right where I'm standing here. Two migrants were running down the Monte Cristo Ray, running away from the migrants and going through these culverts that you see right behind me. Now what we know is that the both patrol, uh, both border patrol agents rushed out of their vehicle to catch them. The encounter took place as agents were taking us back to our vehicle. So take a listen. Yeah, he's, he's on too. I got him, we got him. They're hiding right here. With 15 autonomous surveillance towers across the El Paso sector, each of them are scanning and surveying all borders 24-7. We need to know what and who is coming illegally into our, our country between the ports of entry. While ASTs have been installed in key points around the area over the last two years, Border Patrol agent spokesperson Orlando Marrero says their goal is to implement nine more by the end of this year. Right now the AST uh, equipment, it's in Fort Hancock, Texas, Demi, New Mexico, Lordsburg, New Mexico, and here in Santa Teresa, where we're currently at. Covering almost 300 miles of border in the El Paso sector. Specifically, this one has detected movement before they even come in. And while the surveillance towers are run by solar power, one hour of sunlight keeps them operating 24-7. Right now, look at it, it's, it's moving. So right now, they're detecting us. That's why we, we made the call to the command center. That way they know it's us. It's, it's not a threat, it's no, nobody, so they won't deploy any, any agents to the area. Withstanding winds above 100 miles per hour. The reason why you see those two lenses is because it's 24 seven, so it has, it has the capability of IR or night vision. Damarero tells me these surveillance towers are not just for people coming into the U.S. illegally, but also apprehensions as well as rescues. But they are also here for, to safeguard our borders throughout here in the El Paso sector. Reporting live in Sunland Park, New Mexico, Jasmine Perry, KTSM 9 News. All right, Jasmine, thank you so much for that.